Hello, and thank you for watching this short video on URL and file hash search intelligence. My name is Dennis Mercer, and I'm a senior program manager at Microsoft, working in the customer experience and engineering group. A little bit about myself, I have over 20 years of experience in information security and data protection. I've held various jobs from analyst to threat hunter, to team leader and branch chief at various different levels. And like I said, today's focus is going to be on URL and file search, excuse me, file hash search using Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Now, Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence leverages the threat intelligence that's produced by Microsoft through both static and dynamic analysis of files and URLs within and outside of the Microsoft ecosystem, providing a comprehensive coverage for potential threats. Now, static analysis examines the file codes without executing them while dynamic analysis involves the execution of a file in a controlled environment to observe the behavior. Now, this dual approach enables Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence to identify and categorize potential threats using static, or me, static analysis of techniques, and then to detect and analyze actual behaviors using dynamic analysis techniques. So with that being said, I wanna take you into a quick demonstration of first URL searching, and then we'll do a hash search. And I wanna start in Microsoft Sentinel. And I've highlighted a event here that's been, uh, has a high severity. And if we look real quick over here in the description, we can see that it identifies a match from a domain that's, or excuse me, a domain indicator of compromise from Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. So I wanna click on the full details and bring up the full details of this event. And if we look over here in the description, uh, again, it matches a uh, domain IO, uh, IOC in Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. And the entity appears in a host pair for this new big data science or dot science domain, which, been, which has been involved in phishing. Uh, to see the full results and to look at the, the URL detonation, we're gonna click and pivot into Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence Platform. Right off the bat, if an analyst was taking a look at this incident or event in Sentinel, they would be presented with this information, talks about the domain, and its classification is malicious with a score of 100. And we could see some of the rules that fired uh, to produce that, that score. But what's most important for us in this video is to see the detonation analysis of the URL. So we can see that the response code of 200, the final URL and the IP that resolved for that URL. But if we click here, we can actually see the login page that's being presented to a potential victim of a phishing campaign. And this would be a Microsoft login. If they would expose their credentials here, they would be exposing that to uh, adversary. So now let's pivot to the Microsoft 365 Defender Portal, and I've preloaded a file hash here to show file hash within the uh, Defender Portal. And uh, over here on the left-hand side, you can see that I'm in the Intelligence Blade in Intel Explorer, preloaded this URL, or excuse me, I've preloaded this file hash, and I'm gonna do a quick search on that. And again, the information being presented to the analyst would be that we have a score of 100, uh, that this file hash has been associated with a threat intelligence profile, um, Aqua Blizzard, which is a Russian advanced persistent threat group. But when we come down here to the detonation analysis, we can see the file name and that its extension is a dot executable or dot exe. Um, we can look at the file type, the file size and a checksum. And then we have the MD5 file hash the SHA-1 file hash and the SHA-256 file hash. Now you can take that, those file hashes and then do a search of your environment looking for other instances of this file within your own environment. Start to look for uh, signs in indications of compromise within your own network. So <clears throat> in summary, Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence provides a straightforward way to obtain insights about file hashes and URLs, among 
many other associated links in uh, two threat intelligence articles uh, where that URL or file hash has been listed as an indicator of compromise. With this information, security professionals can better understand the potential threats and take appropriate action to protect their organization, improve their operations and processes effectively. I thank you, and if you have any questions and would like to reach out to us, you can reach out to us at this email address right here, this CXE underscore Intel at Microsoft.com. Additional resources that are available to you, we have a blog space. Um, if you go to this aka.ms slash Microsoft Defender TI tag blogs. And then we also have some ninja training uh, right here at aka.ms become a MDTI ninja. Great resources, and I thank you for your time and watching this video. Have a great day.